the lessons learned in that, in that along this line is that you have to stay focused the first thing because there's so many priorities in, in a bank now at the moment my focus is indeed mostly on retail because that's where a lot of things can go wrong you're dealing with individual customers a lot of the complaints will actually come out from those individuals so retail covers credit cards you know in your pocket retails cover you know the stocks trading system you know securities trading systems mission critical system cannot be done for one second you know if it's done for one second two seconds you are you're up to losing you know up you're up for losing you know millions of dollars in that in those few seconds so those are the priorities you have to you have to stay focused and the second thing is to keep talking you know keep communicating with all the stakeholders because in a complex environment everybody has got his own interests you know has got his own uh, his own priorities so the second thing i would say is i i'm a very uh, you got to be a very good communicator to keep the dialogue don't just shooting emails everywhere every every here and there it's using to pick up the phone and talk to them and best is to invite them out for lunch you know all the stakeholders be it customers be it you know internal business business heads or business users you know building a rapport building building a relationship with the, with the various stakeholders all the way up to the board level that's very important the third lesson is to me people a team is very important IT is not buying machines or buying boxes. IT is building the team. IT needs people to do it. It's not a factory environment where you just turn on the switch and then the machine works by itself. IT is the whole bunch of people. So a project of this nature, you know, sort of leaving leaving no 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 page unturned, you know, is is really making changes, fundamental changes. A project of this kind needs top-down management you know, support, almost like ordered, you know, almost like an order that the, manage, the, the, the top management has to say, look, this is the way to go, you know, funding has to, funding model has to change. Other examples like, um, you know, in the next two or three years, a lot of the, a lot of the BAU stuff, you know, a lot of the BAU changes would have to be drastically reduced. As we are changing, like for example, I stick to the same example, like like core banking. You cannot afford. You you cannot afford to have a a, a core banking system or, or all five of them keep changing every single day. You cannot do an upgrade. You cannot do a replacement or upgrade of the core banking system on a moving platform. So in the next few years, unfortunately. A lot of the new, a lot of the BAU, you know, business as usual changes will be reduced in order to maintain a relatively stable uh, platform for us to do the, you know, do the, do the upgrade or change. And that's a business sacrifice that we have to endure in the next few, in the next few, uh, two to three years. Now, that sort of things can only come from the top, from the boss from the president and CEO saying, look, you know, because we have to do Rose Garden, then you have to pull up with, you have to make do with what you have today for time to go, for time to come, okay? Another example is like, you know, as we are moving in, as we are adopting uh, packages, of course we don't build everything ourselves. So we introduce package solutions, you know, package solutions and best practices from the industry in order to cut short the time. Otherwise, you build everything yourself, that will take much longer time. As you are bringing in, or as you are bringing in the packages and best practices, those packages and best practices quite likely will be different from what you are doing today. You know, you are doing five steps and the new system does only for only two steps. So that sort of changes also upset some people. You know, this is not the way I used to do things, people will say. So again, the, man, the, the, the top management has to mandate that we have to change from five steps to two steps. You know, from, from five checkers to two checkers, or maybe even one checker. So that sort of best practice introduction 
would also stir up some controversy within the bank. And again, this top-down top down direction is very important.